Hello my friends, our topic is astrological compatibility in a vibrational universe. So the idea of this system of astrology that I use, vibrational astrology, is that we live in a vibrational universe and astrology works by vibration as well. All of these different frequencies and we're finding ways into this beautiful intricate tapestry. It's like a kaleidoscope of patterns. It's, it's like mandalas that are intricately beautiful, and we're finding our way into it. And I'm going to show you a technique for going into this beautiful, exquisite tapestry of the cosmos that we are born into and that we are a part of to see the real connections. And one of the reasons we've searched for these answers and these techniques is because We've done research where we looked at nearly 21,000 married couples, huge, enormous database of married couples who have times from a birth certificate, a fantastic resource. And we looked at the zodiac sign compatibility. We looked at the conjunctions and oppositions and trines and sextiles between the charts. Nothing really stands out. It's, it's depressing. <laughs> we think astrology works. We cannot confirm it. We didn't test all of the Vedic techniques, but we tested a lot of the modern Western. But a glimmer of hope, in fact, more than a glimmer, I think I would call it a bright, shining light, is that we find there is this tapestry going on. And certain vibrations and frequencies make sense. The, the seven vibration of the soul, people feel like they find their soul mate with seven vibration. With 13 vibration, they feel like they found that spirit special person who's just the ultimate for them, like given by God, like it was their destiny. Different frequencies getting involved, but I'm going to explain to, he, to you here something that's, I think, even more important, that's showing up very, very strongly, and eventually we're going to do our, our database research on this, but we're working with people. It's fantastic. Our research suggests that this is how it works, and this is sort of the, you might say, the some of the latest um, understanding. Take a romantic relationship. Is the romantic relationship dreamy? Walking on the beach at night, under the moon, Venus, Neptune. Is it physically passionate, Venus, Mars? Is it excitable, love at first sight? Sparks are flying, Venus, Uranus. Is there a sense of dedication, deep connection, connected to what's really important? You really are like at some deep level with each other, Venus, Saturn, and is it, or is it fun? Venus, Jupiter, it's just you enjoy being with each other. You laugh, you, you put your worries to the side. We can add other combinations with Venus. Moon, Venus, more soulful and sentimental, nostalgic. What kind of Venus is in the relationship? In vibrational astrology, we emphasize Venus. Some people say, well, in a woman's chart, the, it's Mars is the man, and the man's chart, Venus is the woman. Well, that's when everybody thought heterosexual was the only way to think about it. What do you do in other kinds of relationships? But in any case, that's never been an issue in vibrational astrology because we haven't turned the planets into like gods and goddesses and made them all anthropomorphic, they're forces. Venus is this force of attraction. And attraction is vital to any kind of romantic relationship. You're, you're magnetized, you're drawn to each other. What kind of magnet is it? The dreamy Venus Neptune, the passionate Venus Mars, the excitable Venus Uranus, the deep and sincere Venus Saturn, the fun-loving Venus Jupiter, or some other kind of Venus, Venus Pluto, etc. Here's what you can do to find out what kind of Venus is drawing you together. What kind of Venus is bringing you together with a romantic partner or a client to the person they're interested in? And here's, how you, here's a technique for doing it. You pull up a harmonic aspect grid, find out the vibration, and see if the other person connects to your vibration. So the harmonic aspect grid in the Sirius software, other software perhaps has a similar feature, you go to listing, you select harmonic list slash grid, 
and then select Harmonic Aspect Grid. You'll get a question of how high you want to go, what orb you want. Typically I set this to 360 for the highest vibration and I set the orb to 4 degrees. Very often we use 16 degrees in vibrational astrology but we set it very very small because we want to see the strongest, clearest, straightforward vibration. And then for example for the actor Tom Hanks you'll see he has one, two, three, four, five. Believe it or not, you'll have several vibrations. But down here is the strength. And the strongest one is 11 over 102. That's a 102 vibration, the denominator. 102 happens to equal 17 times 6. <clears throat> 6 is sextile. 17 is a prime number. That means stories and sharing and empathy. This means that Tom Hanks's excitability, his ability to fall in love suddenly is connected to 17. It's connected to his, his ability to have an empathy and a connectivity and a sensitivity. If he meets someone whose planets connect to his Venus Uranus and 17 vibe. You're literally on the same wavelength. So he's married to Rita Wilson. If Rita has her Venus, her Uranus, maybe her sun, moon, her Mars, tying in, connecting directly to his 17 vibe, bam, there's that excitability, that tendency to fall in love. The more planets, the smaller the orbs, the more powerful it is. It's very simple, very straightforward. There, well, there, there, there's a lot I can say about it, but that's the essential, that's the essential idea. So I've, I've made a longer version of this video. It's actually um, in two parts, and it goes over two hours, and I, I show all these details of Tom Hanks 17 and how Rita connects to it. So. If you want to get deep into vibrational astrology, you can join and become a member and you, for $5 a month and you can get into all this stuff. But if you're just curious about the concepts of what vibrational astrology is all about, where we're going with this, what, what's going on, that's it. That, this is one of the relatively new vibrational astrology is advancing and growing and developing very rapidly. Technique that we're using and oh my God, it's amazing. It's really, really phenomenal. As I show in detail, if you really want to go deep into this, it takes hours and hours, over an hour, just on this one little topic, and you see the magic of the this music of the spheres, the way people are connected. So that's it, my friends. I wanted to share with you a technique that works for finding out what draws people together, what what puts them on the same wavelength, what makes them attracted to each other. It fits with our clients, it fits with the database research, it's just very exciting. So in an evidence-based practice we use the best evidence and this is the best evidence we have right now. It's fitting with the databases better, it's fitting with our clients better and we, you know, we have videos that illustrate this in great detail. So thank you for watching. If you're a subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're a member, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, you can just click on subscribe. If you think about being a member, there's a link in the description below um, on how to become a member. And there's a video that tells you what the benefits are. And then you can decide if you want to join or not. Thank you very much for listening, my friends. God bless. Namaste.